Hello there. I'm Emma from eclecticwitchcraft.com, where I write about all things witchy. Today we will discuss what to do when your moon water touches sunlight. You set your jars of water out overnight to be blessed with the energy of the moon. You set an alarm to bring the jars in before the sun rises. And then you sleep through the alarm. Is your moon water ruined once it has touched sunlight? Or can you still use the water in your witchcraft? What is moon water? Moon water is water that has taken on some of the magical properties of the moon's light. Under the light of the moon, the water takes on the energetic profile of the phase that the moon is in. But what is moonlight? It's the reflection of sunlight off of the moon's surface. When you see it that way, you might begin to understand if your sun-touched moon water is ruined. Can moon water touch sunlight? Moonlight is just sunlight that has gone through the filter of the moon's energy. For this reason, in my experience, moon water that has been touched by sunlight isn't ruined. The sun's energy most likely adds to the energy in the moon water. It certainly transforms the water into something other than moon water. Maybe call it celestial water instead? Keep in mind, as well, that moon water isn't only under the moon. It's also under all of the visible planets and stars in the sky, each one adding their energy to the water. It's simply impossible to make moon water that is only moon water. Plus, depending on how you store your moon water, it will probably be exposed to sunlight anyway. If you leave your moon water out on a table or shelf, the sun will probably affect it. If that has never turned a spell sour before, your celestial water will still work fine, too. So can moon water touch sunlight? It might change the energy of the water, but is that so bad? Go with the flow. This is an opportunity to learn a lesson every witch must learn at some point, nothing in witchcraft will ever be done perfectly. Everything around us influences our magic. Sometimes it's the sun influencing our moon water. Other times, it's the time of day influencing our mood. The important thing to learn is to go with the flow, accept the results you receive, and change things up if something goes wrong. You can't control the sun, the stars, or the spirits. You can only control how you react to their influences. When you learn this lesson and let go of your anxiety and desire to control the world around you, your magic will actually become even more powerful than before. How to stop the sun from touching your moon water. If you have a spell that really requires pure moon water, untouched by the sun, here are my tips. Set multiple alarms so you get your water before the sun rises. Set the alarms an hour or two before the sun rise, just in case. If you are a deep sleeper, maybe only leave the water out for a few hours and collect it before you go to bed. Store the moon water in a dark colored jar. Immediately store the water in a box or cabinet that you won't open until the moon water is ready to be used. Perform the spell at night, so that when you open the box or cabinet, the moon water won't be touched by the sun. Wrap the jar with the moon water in it with a cloth for extra protection from sunlight. Hopefully these tips will help you to keep your moon water uncontaminated with sunlight. Again, I think you should only do this if it's really necessary for a specific spell. For day-to-day -day use, I just don't think it's worth all the extra effort. Moon water can touch sunlight without much issue, if any at all. Of course, the best way to know for sure is to experiment with your own magic.